I have two different sides to it. There's the, the hyper-visual side where I just want this to look pretty, and then a lot of my work tells my message, I think, political and environmental messages mainly. Um, and the best is when those two things work out together. My favorite pieces are when there is a little political message within. Um, and a lot of times, like I said, that is environmental. Uh, if, be it just showing animals that are going extinct, I kind of take things. Or I have a lot of bison pieces, buffalo pieces, because uh, it's, it's an animal that almost went completely extinct and I was kind of made to come back, but it was all by our doing. Like I said, I, haven't, I was never taught really. Um, I kind of made it up as it went along, using some skills I knew from art classes in high school, like just how to enlarge things. Um, I put a grid on every piece because it's easier to figure it all out, that type of thing. It's also the kind of stuff I learned in design or art classes in high school. It often starts with getting the piece. I, I do a lot of my work on found wood. And so it often starts with that. When I get a new piece of wood or a canvas to work on, uh, my brain just tries to figure out how to best compose that, like, uh, I usually have one centerpiece, nowadays it's a stencil of some sort on, on the painting, so I try to figure out where's the best place to put that balance-wise, and then slowly but surely work the design out. I think a lot of my pieces look similar, but I've tried to use the same thing, and the first time I do it is a lot different than if I did it today, like the same um, idea of patterns over stencils, over lines, over colors. Now I can do it one step at a time and know how it's going to come out. I'll say, oh, I work for a nonprofit, you know, in education. I'm kind of the everyday man. But my friends next to me, you're an artist. You're an artist. Uh, so I guess I'm still not totally comfortable with it, but I'm comfortable with I'm comfortable with changing gears now and playing the artist. <laughs>